Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In this video, I'll discuss the differences between handmade, handgrade, benchmade, and custom-made. First, let's start about custom or custom-made. The term custom just implies that something is customized to your tastes. Unfortunately, it's not a protected term, so that it can mean anything from choosing the length of your shirt to basically defining anything you want in your garment. It does not tell you whether something is machine-made or handmade or to what degree it is handmade or how many hours went into it. It simply implies there's some degree of customization. As such, it's an umbrella term that is used for all kinds of businesses, and usually the goal is to make you spend more money. So keep that in mind when somebody advertises it as custom. Whenever you meet a custom shirt maker, custom tailor, or custom shoemaker, you should always ask exactly what it is that they do. It's important because the term won't tell you, and it could be anything from made to order, to made to measure, or true bespoke. If you don't know what these terms mean, please check out our other video where I discuss the difference between those terms and explain exactly what they are and what they aren't. It's important to ask questions so you don't overpay for something that is sold as one thing but is actually another. You have to be particularly careful and cautious if somebody calls himself a custom clothier because that can be anybody who just did a one week or three day training on how to measure somebody to sell shirts or it could be a 25 year experienced haberdasher who truly cares about what you do. Again, it's very important to ask exactly why they call themselves that and what the process is that the garment has to undergo. If somebody tells you they're a custom shirt maker, but all they do is measure you and then send those measurements to a factory that makes that shirt, you know they're just a salesperson who can use a measuring tape. Also, if someone is a custom tailor, they will not call themselves a custom clother because a tailor is more than a clothier and they wanna let you know that that's what they are and that they have the training. So whenever you're encountered with these terms, try to figure out where they learned their craft and whether it's actually a craft or if it's just a company that sells garments. A true custom tailor has learned his craft for years. He can make a pattern he can create a suit from scratch without a machine altogether. Now, your alterations tailor may also call themselves a custom tailor because they can sew a dress. But at the end of the day, without the training and the skill, you're not a true custom tailor. Again, these terms are not protected and people will always use them to their advantage. So look beyond the words and try to understand what the process really is. Another term that's often abused is handmade. All it implies is that there is hand labor involved along the way, but that's about it. Doing something by hand usually takes longer than doing it by machine and therefore it costs more. Overall, handmade does not per se mean better because you can have bad handwork and good machine work. However, when it comes to clothing, handmade usually means hand-stitched and that is a more flexible stitch than a machine stitch. It looks prettier and is therefore more expensive and more desirable. Also, think about a shirt collar. If it is sewn by hand, you can sew it on in the round, which is the shape it will actually have. If you sew it on by machine, it's sewn flat, and that's not a shape that your neck actually has. So a hand-sewn shirt collar is clearly superior to a machine-sewn one. The same is true for a jacket collar. A hand-sewn collar is always superior. However, handmade is one of the most misleading terms because people don't really define what it is. Sometimes people use it to describe a person who sews something with a sewing machine. Other people only use it to describe sewing stitch for stitch by hand. Again, you have to ask what exactly handmade means to understand what you get for your money. For example, for a tie, sometimes people call it handmade because somebody takes a tie, puts it into a machine that then sews it together. Other people only consider a tie handmade if it is hand cut and hand sewn. 
And so just because you buy a handmade tie doesn't mean that one handmade tie is the same as another handmade tie. An honest business will always tell you what exactly went into the process and they know what goes into the process. When people tell you it's handmade but they don't know what went into it, stay clear. Whenever you see the term handmade, bear in mind it's a favorite of marketing teams and it's simply used to get more money from you. So it's really important to understand what it is and what it's not. Which brings us to the term machine made. Whenever you buy clothing, you will never see the term machine made advertised simply because people don't associate high quality with it. That being said, you can create high quality garments with a certain amount of machine work. It's used in garments because it's less expensive, it's faster, and the stitches are more consistent. So if you know something is machine made, you know you should pay less for it. Next up, we discuss bench grade, bench made, or hand grade. Basically, it is something that is between machine made and handmade, but the borders are not really defined. More often than not, it's a marketing term used to sell you a machine made product for a higher price. Therefore, it's important to ask a salesperson what exactly that means. By definition, bench implies that one person sat there and used some tools and machines to create the shoe or the garment. Back in the day, it maybe truly meant that somebody on a bench worked on this one product and it wasn't an assembly line production. But today, you simply don't know what is actually the case. So ask about it, ask maybe to see pictures of the production. And if people really, truly mean that something is bench made, there should be one person working on it at the time. So at the end of the day, with all of those terms, what it means for you is buyer, beware, understand what you want, what you can afford, and what is sold to you. Follow those steps, you'll get a much better value for your clothing, and you also have a better appreciation of what went into the garment, and it makes you proud when you wear it, and it shows. That aside, it's also super handy to call out BS on somebody if they wanna sell you something and they don't know what they're talking about.